do you ever wake up and think, oh my god, I fucking hate myself, I want to die? That is like me sometimes. But we're going to pretend to be happy. What is going on, guys? It is Lauren, and we are back. I am back. Everyone is back with another reaction video. Now, before we start off this video, I just want to say, don't forget to go follow me on my Instagram, which is down below, and it's also going to be up here, and somewhere here, or somewhere here, I don't know, but it's Lauren Alexis underscore X, so go follow me on Instagram, because we're growing quick on that, and I might as well shout it out and grow a bit quicker. Yeah. Today, we're going to be checking out all the Tory and Joyner Lucas beef, and now, what is going on? It's not really beef, it's more of like a rap battle, but... They are throwing it back and forth at each other so quick. Like, honestly, it's so quick. Like, it's actually unreal. I'm baffed, you know? I am baffed. And I don't get baffed often, but I am baffed right now. So that's just... Wow. Wow. Anyway, we're going to check that out. But today, let's check out today's song of the day. I don't want a flatline nor too many drugs in my system but pass me the keys to the fucking car I need to clear my head this life has got me stressed I just feel so depressed so where's the nearest bridge huh? don't want to jump but I guess I might stop with this pain so I guess I'm right stand on the ledge and close your eyes let go now and don't think twice don't want to jump but I guess I might stop with this pain so I guess I'm right stand on the ledge and close your eyes don't think now and don't think twice why do I feel so fucking ill why do I need to take a pill why do I not just give up why do i even think it's real if you guys like the song of the day it's gonna be in the description so you can go listen to the full thing that shit is fire and today i need to stop saying today because no there's no today anyway guys subscribe hit the like button and let's check out Tory lane's lucky you freestyle here we go I want to say like it's really good so far because it is really good and it's fire and I'm just thinking like why didn't he have this much flame and fire when he dropped the album like what was it love me now I think the album was called I can't remember what his album was called was it love me now I think it was love me now I can't actually remember I'm pretty sure it was love me now but I don't know I'm not even gonna bother looking up you guys can correct me in the comments which I, if I'm wrong because you guys always do that fucking anyway but <laughs> but yeah if he had dropped love me now and it was like this like the first track for example people would be like yo you know this shit is fire but why does it take some rapping freestyle back-to-back -back beef kind of rap battle shit to see the, the real side of him you know like why can't he just do this all the time but it is Joanna Lucas so he is probably still gonna lose I haven't heard any of them this is the first time I'm listening to all of them but I got loads of comments saying do this, this and I was like oh my god okay and then I looked and it was like one day one day 14 hours ago one hour and I was like oh my god what the fuck is happening I was so confused but yeah, this, this is good. <laughs> I'm so glad that it's like actual like rap if you know what I mean like, it's not like mumble rapping this time do you know what I mean like it wasn't before but I don't know but yeah I, I don't know right. 
I don't think he really insulted him that much. Um, I don't know, like, I didn't really hear any, like, blatant insults towards him. I mean, it was good, like, don't, don't like, get me wrong, like, the flow was really good. But I'm honestly so excited to hear Joyner's one, because I know Joyner fucking goes off. Like, I was just taking a screenshot of the page, but I know Joyner fucking literally goes off. Like, Joyner is, like, fucking mad. So, yeah, I'm ready for this. This is John Lucas, Litty, freestyle. What's up with you R&B niggas trying to turn rappers and trap? I love his voice. Like, <laughs> you should just stay in your lane, bro. You sound like a rapper, the rapper. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking down on you, jabbing my bladder. Watch you disappear like you abracadabra. And like, grab me a dagger. You got some hits, but you lacking a swagger. I'm still the shit, bitch. So that doesn't matter. Don't call me a kid. I'm your pappy and dada. You get splatted. Dada Lucas could be my daddy. I mean, splatted. You and Trippy better have you some backup. Ready Wait, stable. what? Okay. Peak. Ain't nobody major. Five three, you ain't nobody dangerous. Maybe that we you were smoking had you feeling confident. Let's have a real conversation. Maybe that doctor put something inside of your head when you got your new hairline replacement. Why you bring my name up in the first place, sorry? Oh. I mean, I'm pretty sure he did already come out like and like admit he had a hairline replacement or whatever, blah blah blah. But that is pretty jokes, so I mean, just bringing that up is actually pretty funny. <laughs> Why does Iggy get thrown into everything? Like, it's actually so relevant right now. Like, I, I'm like, no hate towards Iggy. Like. Her song, what was it? Like, I don't know, Work Hard or whatever the fuck it was. I don't know. The one about the lubes. I don't know. But that, that went off, you know. I liked that when I was, like, 12 years old in high school. But she's kind of irrelevant now. But people are, like, just bringing her up all the time. Like, getting compared to Iggy is pretty fucking bad because she's pretty much relevant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god has trippy said anything about that oh my god that is so peak that's so peak <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, I can imagine it, and I know Six Nine wasn't he hanging out with Trippy's bird or ex or whatever. I mean, to be fair, like I'd have a threesome with him and him and Six Nine, like I would, but. <laughs> fair enough. I mean, I know that it's not actually beef, but you know, like. He kind of went off, like he kind of went in on Tori, like he, mm, mm, ooh. He was a little harsh, but so far is one up on Joyner, I think. I haven't heard round two, but to so far, Joyner is winning. I mean, it could come out as a draw, but I highly doubt that Tori can compete with that, you know? I don't know. But let's see, this is Tori Lane's Litty again. And it goes on, kill a pussy nigga with his pantyhose on. The gun is equipped for whatever hand it goes on. And kill a backpack nigga with his. I love how he just went straight in, like not even a second. It's just like, blah, 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 you know, it's like he just went straight in, like no stopping him. And he released this so so quick, like I was like, what? 
Ask his ass to eat fast, nigga, pull a heat fast and blast and leave that nigga with a seat back, nigga. I'm a number one nigga in no time. I've been waiting for a nigga to give me the showtime in the jungle, waiting for you to slip on the oak vine. I'ma do this nigga like I was chewing the pork rind, nigga. I'm a nap, nigga, fell both times. I done took your pass to a million in a day. If you ask me, nigga, I'm your motherfucking cosign. I'ma hit the pussy ass nigga with a clothesline. I'ma have to catch a nigga slipping in my own time. I just hit the flame on the private ass plate out of Massachusetts. Catch a nigga slipping in the soul time. You see me go around, come around and go around, so I got a soul going. I just realized what he did. I think anyway. Because I'm pretty sure Joyner's real name is Gary. And Gary the snail is running away from Spongebob. And like... <laughs> That's a pretty joke's cover, I'm not going to lie. Wait, what? Did he just diss his dad? Oh my god! What? Oh, really? I thought this was like friendly. Like, this is just getting like. You know what? This one is actually really fucking good. Like, this one is pretty good. Like, this is a bit better than the other two. But I don't. I haven't seen Joyner's other one yet, so I'm not going to say anything yet because you guys will be like, you didn't even fucking listen to them all. So, yeah. But I give it to him because he didn't run, meaning, like, his dad didn't run away. Why is he bringing his dad up? Do you want to better bring something up about Tori's dad? Like, I'm sorry, but. By the way, Tori is pretty fit. Like, I'm not gonna lie about that, you know? I think everyone's fit, but he's quite fit. Oh, I got five plaques this year. You did a whole song with Eminem and still don't even have one. Oh my god, it's like early when he was like, Yeah, you featured with Eminem, you don't get you get like a million followers. But I'm pretty sure today he did actually hit a million. Let's have a quick little look. Hello, Noah Centineo. <laughs> Daddy. Have you seen that video? He's like, so are you going to show me how you squirt or what? That's a fit video. I'm not going to lie. I don't think everyone's fit, by the way. I don't think Trippy Red is fit. No offence, but... Yeah, I don't think he's fit. Join out Lucas. Yeah, oh my god, he's actually on one mail, so I'll slap him with that follow. He can't really call his like join his first shit or whack or whatever like it was better than his first one. I just realised Lucas, I'm your father, even though Joyner said to him, call me pappy or daddy or whatever. It's just uh it hurts to say, trying to chase it, trying to make it. Rocks design the kind of face and hates to face it. That he'll never be a nigga that replaced with alias niggas. Damn, here's what he's thinking right now. I'm Jonah Lucas. Why did I start with this guy? Tory late time. Even if the lies is a shitty, get six lies. But this time, they ain't really letting me. <laughs> no, just he said shit about six nine as well. No, it's just. I mean, six nine can't do anything. He's pretty much going to jail. Did he go to jail? I don't even fucking know. I was not keeping up with that shit. But he just called his lines shit. You know, Six Nine doesn't have the best lyrics, but you know, his songs are still banging. You know, you can play in full volume in the car, you can sesh to them, you can feel depressed and feel like listen to them songs. You know, you can do anything with them. Oh 
He's just going off and off and off and off and it's fucking mad. This shit is easy, man. It was crazy, nigga. I'm, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really being very generous, you know. Like, I'm really doing you a favor. It's, it's not a lot of to come down and spank you niggas pause, man. It's crazy, but you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna do for you what niggas didn't do for me. That's, that, that's all the brother status. So if you blow from this point on, you're close now, nigga. You know what it is. Okay, I mean, he kind of went off. Like, I'm not going to lie. He did pretty much go off. You know, that was fucking fire. So far, I'd say, if Joiners won that we listen to next, which is ZZ Freestyle, which is, I'm pretty sure what Kodak used, I think. I didn't, I don't know if I heard that song. But I'm pretty sure it was Kodak or something. With, like, Offset or Travis, I don't know. But if Joiners won that I'm going to listen to now is as the same standard as first one at, like, at Tory then I feel like Tori's second one would beat that. But so far it's one up on Joanna because I haven't heard this one. So it could be two up on Joanna, it could be one one. You know, you never know. But let's see. Let's see. Let's go. This is ZZ by Joanna. Uh, <laughs> Yo. Nigga saying what a great battle. But you about to see a fucking snake rattle. Boy, you just a pony with a pink saddle. I'm truly sorry that you stuck inside a Drake's shadow. When are you gonna overcome? Ooh. Okay. Oh, that you number one. And everything that you accomplished in some years about to take me just a couple months. Don't you think I'm bluffing neither? I thought you were tough and eager. How you almost sounded Justin Bieber? You look like a fucking <laughs> Bieber. Ten years in the game, just another diva. Heard your grandmama kicked you out the house, screaming, Tori, we don't fucking need you. Why your daddy up and leave you? Oh, God, he mentioned the dad. He did it, he did it, he did it. Whew. I guess this is how they fucking treat you. And you my One sec, I need to take some sleeping tablets, because otherwise I'm going to have to sleep because I'm way too hyper. Well, these aren't even sleeping tablets. They're, I don't even know what they are. You know that shit that's in the Cody and the Premi for Zane, Zine stuff? It's that. But apparently, if you take, like, five, you get sedated, so... We're gonna try that. Ooh. I'm not joking. I feel like this remix is actually better than the original. Like, I prefer it already because the original wasn't the best, but I feel like this is better than the original. Yeah, 
Is he trying to end the beef? Like, maybe he's run out of things to say. Because that didn't go very hard. Like, it went hard, but it didn't go hard enough for me to be able to say that he successfully did better than Litty again. Like, you know, I'd put him on par with each other. He needs to go harder than that, and I don't think he has anything else to say. That's why he's trying to end the beef. I honestly don't know who I'd say. I'd say still join a one based on the first one because obviously, like, he called out Trippy as well. But then Tori called out Six Nine. Oh, I don't know. Mm. It's hard. They were all really good. The first one from Tori, so Lucky You, I don't think was very good. If I had to rate them in order, I'd do. Number one is Litty again and ZZ combined. Number two is Litty Freestyle. And then number three is Lucky You. That's how I'd rate it. But I don't know, they're secretly friends anyway. They're probably going to come out with like an album together. It probably wouldn't even take them long. It'd probably take them like a day. You know, <laughs> like they're dropping things so fucking quick. I wonder how long it's going to take for Tori to reply, if he does. But if he replies, then I do feel like Tori definitely won because I reckon now is his chance to literally destroy Joanna because I don't feel like Joanna has anything else to say. So, I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. It's a bit... Ooh. I don't know, it's interesting, you know, it's very interesting. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys thought of all that down below. If there is another reply, I will react to that so you guys know what I'm thinking about that one. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I will see you very soon for another reaction video. Mwah. Goodbye.